In this video, we will explore the Dimensions API in React Native. To better understand this topic, let's jump straight into the code with an example. To start, we will nest a view component within the container. View component with style prop set to styles.box and then a text component with style set to styles.text. For the text itself, a simple welcome is sufficient. Let me also import the text component, which I deleted in the previous video. Now, let's define the corresponding styles we have applied to our view and text components. Box, width 300, height 300, background color light blue, Align items center, justify content center. And then for the text styles, font size 24. If we save the file, the blue box and the welcome text will be displayed. Everything looks great at this point. However, let's test the application on a larger device like an iPad. To do this, in VS Code Terminal, with the terminal in focus, press Shift plus I. This will bring up a list of iOS devices. Select iPad Pro 6th generation. If prompted, approve the installation of the app through Expo Go. Now the app is running on both an iPhone and an iPad in addition to Android, of course. However, it's clear that the app doesn't look the best on iPad. The box is really small and the font is not easily readable. One potential solution to the box dimensions issue is to use percentages for width and height. Let's set width to 70% and height to 40%. While this is an improvement, it still doesn't feel right. The problem is that the two devices have similar height, but significantly different width. Using percentage-based width and height is not sufficient. Moreover, how do we handle the font size? We may want a larger font, but specifying a percentage won't work. What we need is a way to address responsive styles based on the device size. This is where the Dimensions API comes into play. Let's learn how to use it. Step one, import the Dimensions API from React Native. Step two, obtain the device width and height using the API. So right after our component, const window width is equal to dimensions.get. The get method accepts either screen or window as an argument. Screen refers to the entire physical display of the device, including areas that might be outside the visible viewport due to notches, status bars, or system nav bars. On the other hand, window refers to the visible area of the screen occupied by your app's UI. For tasks involving UI elements within your application's visible area, you will want to use window. Similarly, window height is equal to dimensions.get window. We access dot width and dot height. We can now use these device dimensions to dynamically adjust the styles based on the device size. For width, we're going to set if window width is greater than 500, 70%, else 90%. For height, if window height is greater than 600, 60%, else 90%. For the font size, if window width is greater than 500 again, we're going to set it to 50, else 24. If we save the file, 
You can see this is much better. The dimensions now closely follow the device size and the font is much easier to read on an iPad. In summary, the Dimensions API provides access to the device size. By using the device width or height, you can create responsive styles for your UI elements. Now, although our styles seem to be working completely fine, the Dimensions API does have a drawback that prevents it from being the recommended approach for creating dynamic user interfaces. Let's understand what the drawback is in the next video.